latest on Odell Beckham Jr. and updates him around the NFL. I think Green Bay could work for him because they have a selfish quarterback who won't listen to him, him whine and mow. Rookies take center stage in the NBA as the top two picks from 2021 square off. Pass out left side, Green sets, fires, and hits a three! As the star power continues here for the young rookie out of Fresno, California. Plus highlights across the NHL and another week of action. They fake the hand off, swinging across the middle. McKenna Lewis has it down the middle of the field. The 30, the 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, UT! This is Sports Center All Night. Is it easier to play with a herniated disc or to play with the flu? They always say the worst injury to have is a bad back. Well, I don't see many uh, bad back games, but I do see <laughs> flu games. Flu, come on. Here's Jay Reynolds. Flu game goes down in history. Sports Center All Night ESPN Radio, the ESPN app, Sirius XM Channel 80. As we head into Veterans Day, if you are serving or if you have served a big thank you from all of us never seems like enough to say a simple thank you but it is heartfelt we do live in a great country but here we are veterans day still early in the nba season that hasn't stopped the questions about the lakers to this point they're without the injured lebron james hovering around 500 heading into wednesday but what a game we had against the miami heat on wednesday we fast forward to the final minute with the game tied at 108. Russell Westbrook pulling up with a 22-footer. That gave L.A. the lead. Miami at the other end. Lowry to P.J. Tucker to Tyler Hero. Hero dribbles into the two-point area. Two-pointer by Hero is perfect. 110-110. 35 seconds remaining. No timeout. Westbrook into the front court. Game is tied. Westbrook dribbles right towards the rim. Leans. Follow a 10-footer. Good. Westbrook takes over the game with back-to-back -back baskets. Timeout Miami. DJ Tucker with a dunk at the other end, which tied the game back up with 33 seconds to go. This game featured 33 lead changes. Lakers go for the win. We did not have a lead change at the end. Everybody on their feet at Staples Center. 10 seconds remaining. Westbrook makes his move. Seconds. Dribbling right. He's going to take Five it. seconds remaining. Westbrook one-on-one. -on -one. Westbrook shoots a three for the win. No good. Tipped by Davis. No good. And we're going overtime. So with that, we get five more minutes. Westbrook putting the Lakers on his shoulders down the stretch. A couple of huge shots. But on ESPN, our Mark Jackson wasn't thrilled with that last one. I'd much rather preach to him coming out of the timeout. Let's not settle. If that's Steph Curry taking that shot, I can live with it. Russell Westbrook, put your head down and make a play. Win the game on your terms. To me, you're settling. You're settling, Robert. You're doing me a favor taking that shot. Westbrook unable to win it at the end of regulation, but the Lakers do build a lead in overtime. They still had a two-point lead with 18 seconds to go, and they had the ball, but get called for a five-second violation, unable to get it in bounds. Tyler Hero down three off the mark with a three-pointer at the other end. Carmelo winds up making one of two free throws at the other end. Miami gets the ball back down three again, but ultimately the Heat had to try and make something happen at the line. He missed it on purpose. The ball is tipped out, but Avery Bradley grabs it, and the Lakers win. Final score, Los Angeles 120. Miami 117. 7-10 ESPN LA with the call. Three-point win for the Lakers, and the Lakers are now 3-0 and in overtime games this season. 8-1 and in overtime games since the start of last season. That's the best in the NBA. Russell Westbrook, two go-ahead shots in the final minute of regulation. Just going out competing. I'm so grateful and, and blessed to be able to play the game I love each and every night. And I uh, just have so much faith in my teammates, myself, and my ability to be able to do things to win basketball games. And tonight, I did a better job of that tonight. Can you walk me through when a player like Bam Adebayo is coming at you full speed ahead, your mindset, your mentality, what you're thinking when you set your body to take that charge? Uh, just sacrifice your body, do whatever it is uh, that we need to win basketball games. And, uh, taking a charge there with something that was needed for us, a big stop for us, and, you know, closing the game out. Anthony Davis and Malik Monk came up huge for you all when you needed it. Describe what they did for you. Um, it's amazing. We got so many guys out. We had about eight or nine guys tonight. Um, the coach mentioned to us that before the game, we'll have guys that had to step up, and Malik and the other guys did a great job of stepping up tonight. 
with the team, like you mentioned, that is missing that many players. What does a gritty win like this do for you as you continue to build your